What's up, everybody? Ardo Cal here with ESPN Esports. Be sure to watch the Rift Rewind, an ESPN League of Legends show, every single Monday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, on Twitch, the ESPN app, YouTube, and Twitter. The team that we thought would give G2 a kick in the pants was Origin. We were all pointing at Origin, at least on paper, to be the team to give them the biggest threat in the spring split in the LEC. Tyler, uh, you believe Origin still has what it takes to run away with it uh, as they remain mm. tied for first right now. Give us your scouting report on Origin for the rest of the split. They're boring. I mean, I, I, when you say when you say they're boring, it's it, that sounds like an insult, right? They're boring. He's not wrong. But they're I love but they're, it. they're but, they're so con but in, a, in a league where there's chaos happening everywhere, Mad Lions, G2, Misfits, you have all these high variance teams where you don't know if you know Misfits might just blow a tire and just follow the ball in the standings. G2 might go in a long slump. I believe that Origin, it's not going to be the most exciting finish to the season, but they're going to finish top three maybe even second or first, and they do it the right way. They're very consistent in a very boring manner. They don't take fights if the fight looks like it's going to be anything below a winning percentile, and they are the best mid-game team in the league. Their early game, not stupendous, but they know how to get it done. They know what to, who, who on the team are the carries, we have, we have Upset and Alfari, and they know how to get those players into the right position to actually win games. So while I, I do believe G2, Fnatic, even a team like Mad Lions might have a higher ceiling than Origin, Origin is the most consistent team to me in the LEC, and that's why I can bet on them to make top three. I know they'll be there at the end of the split. They'll be in the late stages of the playoffs. Right now, even G2, they could bomb out, and I don't think any of us would be super surprised if, you know, caps in the bottom lane didn't work out and they flamed out in the first round. I believe that Origin is the most consistent choice in the LEC. They're boring, but they make it work, and that's why they're a good team. Uh, no Max D in the chat says OG plays way too safe. Many people would say safe equals boring, at least in terms of a viewing experience. Uh, Adele Chaudria is in our chat, who has joined us previously hey! on the show. What's happening, Adele? What is going on? Uh, he says Origin has taken over the late game meme that Splice had last year. Hmm. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. I, I want to kind of piggyback off of something about what Tyler said, how they're a little bit boring, they're a little bit safe. Yeah. That they're very steadfast in the way that they want to play. They know what they want to do. They'll draft around that, and then they'll try to go execute that. And that actually... Let's watch out the table. Yeah, the table. That actually got them in trouble against Fnatic uh, in that match where they specifically said, we want to play Soraka. We're going to ban the Braum so we can get away with the misfortune pick. Mm -hmm. We're going to play Nautilus, and that's how we're going to play, and that's how we're going to win. And Fnatic just drafted around that, and they knew exactly what they were trying to do, and they just exploited it. So if they're not able to be flexible and find a way to get out of this steady marching order, both in draft and in game, I don't think that they're going to be the top of LEC. They might be third or fourth.